Hey guys, Bill Simitel from the BBZ TV. Um, I'm out here at Cass Steak, and I'm doing some on the water testing with some new rods and reels I bought. Most of you know I'm still looking for the perfect rod and reel setup for the rats, um, the BBZ1 rats I designed for Spro the last few years. And also looking for some rods that just, just perform well across the board for anything that I do. Well, I ended up buying, I went over to a Pro Tackle solution. <laughs> I dropped way too much money, but I bought a pile of new Daiwa rods and reels um, to test. But the interesting thing, they have this new uh, TWS uh, zillion reel and rod system, and it's supposed to have an air brake where you're supposed to be able to throw it out there, and when your lure hits the water, you know, it doesn't give you a professional overrun. We're going to look at that right now. We're, you know, I just pulled these out. Um, I'm doing some testing, like I said. I'm going to have more videos as I as I go, but. You know, I know I've been asked by a lot of the little kids and stuff like how to set up a bait caster reel um, so it doesn't overrun and everything else. So we're going to take a quick look at this, uh, talk a little bit about the reel, and I'm going to show you right here on the water how you set up the bait caster reel so the air brake system works. So let's get to it. Now this is the new Zillion TWS. Um, it's the SVTW, it's, and this is supposed to be a smaller spool. Um, there's a lot of really cool components to this reel that I read up on. That's why I'm actually testing them out. It's supposed to have a smaller spool. When you hit the release for the spool, actually the spool is free floating. Um, and they have a, this system in there where there's no arbor that goes into the side plate that can actually slow down your spool. So if I want to take this thing and throw it a country mile, this is supposed to be the reel to do it. The other interesting thing they have on it as well they have this TWS system, this uh, T-Wing system, and this is a really awesome concept, and I dig cool stuff like this. The concept behind this is old school reels like we have on, say, the Lexus 300. You have just a single eye. It's a small little straw eye. Now, this reel, it's, this thing's badass. Um, this thing, I could throw a country mile, but... When you get into smaller baits, um, smaller profile objects and stuff, sometimes the distance is a factor. Well, what happens with this T-Wing system is when you engage the reel so you get free spool, it opens up a bigger area for the line to go through. So instead of having a straw here, a little hole on this lighter line, and this straw, say, is right here on the far end, and you fire it out there, as your line goes across the spool, it has to do these angles and every time it hits an angle in that little straw what happens is your reel as it continues to go forward it starts to slow down because of the friction here this doesn't that means you start getting backlashes and if you're not you have to thumb it enough and you just don't get the distance so what happens is with this t-wing now you see that movement where this thing has less friction coming through this this eye right here so you get a greater cast when you click it over, it comes back down and lines up into the reeling capability of going back and forth so you have a, a clean spool. So really cool objects like this. Uh, the T-Wing's a must. Like I said, I, I've been using it for a day now and I've already seen the difference. Um, but the biggest thing is, is they have this, on this style reel, they have an air brake system. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to go. The bottom line is if I get this working right, I should be able to click it, throw it as far as I want, take my thumb off the spool, which you never want to do when you're using a bait caster, and not have a professional override. So we're going to get up here. Um, we're going to actually set it up right now. Um, the other thing I want you guys to understand is in doing this and setting up any reel, when you get this reel, every time you change the system by putting a different bait on there, change the line, um, throwing into the wind, you know, with the wind, all those different elements affect how this reel performs so what we're trying to do is we're going to try to set this up because i want to throw this rod and reel with this line with the rat 40 um, this is going to be my setup i i really really enjoy it. i think this is going to be the deal for throwing the rat 40. Um, i have to put some more testing in but uh, the way it's performing now this thing is just absolutely home run so let's get up here and uh, see if we can set this up so the air brake works Okay, so here's the basics on a bait cast reel. So the more tension you put on it, doesn't move anywhere. As you release the tension on this tension knob, 
your spool starts to free spool, okay? And old school system, that's what you used to do, is you used to find a lure that's had a certain weight on it, click your reel, let it fall, and if it hit the water and the spool did not keep continually to overrun, then you're, you're set pretty well. Now, as you became more proficient at it, you can really loosen it up, and what you did is you thumbed it before your bait hits the water. So we're going to loosen up a little bit more. Hits. Perfect. We're going to loosen up just a little bit more. A couple clicks. Hits. Perfect. Now you can start seeing how this thing, do another click. Every click you do, backing it off, it's going to overrun a little bit more. Another click. Okay, so that's one thing, but as you go faster in the water, or as you go faster on throwing it in distance, when it hits your arbor, your spool is going so fast. Once it hits the water, man, it, it's automatic backlash. So I'm still gonna do it. So here's my backlash. So we have a system, if we threw this out in the water and it hit, you're gonna get that, the professional override. Well, we don't want that. So we're gonna clear that. We have the, the bait falling about the right speed, but if I throw it out there, it's gonna get an overrun. So now here comes where the magic comes in with this air brake. Now over on the side here, over on the side here you have 0 to 20. And what this is is that basically it's a magnetic system, but what happens is as it goes faster, the magnets itself is supporting the speed or adjusting the speed of the spool. Now if we go to zero and we throw this out a short way, boom, look at the amount of backlash. <laughs> I'm going to be here for a second. So huge, huge amount of backlash with that set at zero. Let me see if I can get this and we're going to do this all in one take so you guys actually see me messing with this. And that was just a little teeny cast right there and there's 25, 30 yards of line that I have to clear off this reel. So that was set tension knob set a little bit light like I like it and this the magnetic side of it was set at zero I'm gonna go right around 12 I'm gonna go close to halfway and start adjusting it so you already saw that slight pitch of what happens look at all that line I had right there slight pitch I happened and it, it backlash now we're gonna do it still backlash so I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust that a little bit more. And what you have to do is you have to go back and forth to set up your system. Now this is gonna be my Rat 40 rod. This is my go-to rod and reel setup. Um, 12 pound test line, Maxima Ultra Green. The Zillion 6.3 is what I'm using right now with the TWS, the T-Wing system, the air brake system. I'm gonna get that. Now I've adjusted the side plate a little bit more. Okay, let's go like this. Okay. Now we still got a little bit of a backlash there, so now we're gonna tighten this knob up again. We back, we're back up to about 12. Okay, still a little bit. So I'm gonna go click on this side, two clicks on that side, one click on this side. Okay, now, now look at that, guys. Okay, so still have to adjust it. I'm gonna see what my, my drop rate is and see if this backlashes. So I got that to hit the water without it backlashing. I'm gonna throw it a little bit. No backlash. Now we start adjusting it for the, the how far you can throw it. I'm gonna throw it out there. Pretty good cast. So I got a good cast. The air brake system works right now. I've got probably a good 25 yard cast. I want a little bit more distance. So what I'm gonna do here, and now I gotta be careful, I'm gonna back off my tension knob. I'm gonna pack off my tension knob, couple clicks. Okay. And I'm gonna tighten up my magnet on the side, one click. Okay. Just testing it. So what happens is, now I'm getting a little bit more distance with this because there's not much pressure on your spool. And then for the air brake system, now I start adjusting this. I don't want this fully maxed at 20 because I'm gonna get nothing out there for distance. And I don't want it at zero because I'm gonna get a huge backlash. So I should be able to throw it. So 
that's your air brake system so no reel right out of the box is going to do this you have to adjust reels but when you do adjust it we're going to turn around this way we're going to throw with the wind a little bit good great cast i mean that's as far as i want to throw that that rat especially around all this cover hey guys what we have right here this is going to be my rat 40 rod this thing is i'm really enjoying it um we got maxima 12 pound test ultra green mono we got the bbz1 rat 40 is going to be the setup i'm going to use on this we have the zillion svtw um, tws system bait caster reel this is the reel i'm using this has the tws the t-wing system um, for the front um, it has the magnetic uh, side plate uh, for adjusting with the the air brake system i'm pairing it up with the 731 mhfb zillion rod and like i said this is going to be my system but the cool thing is with this air brake system now watch this i'm going to engage and i'm going to fire this thing out there and i've taken my hand off that line great cast turn around no backlash without even touching and that's how you set up the dia zillion with the air brake system